In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw a line plot and also how to interpret the data presented in the line plot. So let's go ahead and begin. Draw a line plot given the following numbers. So one of the first things we should do is we should arrange the numbers in ascendant order. So let's start with the lowest number, which is zero. So we have three zeros. Next on the list is 1. And we have a total of 5 ones. Next, we have 2. And I've counted two twos. And then after that is 3. There's only one 3. And then next we have four. There's four fours. And then last on the list is five, which I counted two fives. So now we're going to put the data on a number line. So first, let's put the numbers in ascendant order. Now the next thing we need to do is plot the number of numbers that we have in our data set. So we have three zeros. We can put three dots or three X's on the, the number line. So let's use X. We have a total of five ones. And we have two twos. One three. And we have four fours. and only two fives. So that's how we can construct a line plot given a list of numbers. Now let's work on a practice problem that will help us to interpret the data found in a line plot. Number two, a survey was conducted asking everyone in a certain 55 and older suburban community how many cars they own. The results of the survey were displayed on the line plot shown below. Now, based on the data collected, how many individuals own one car? So on a horizontal axis, we have the number of cars owned. And going up, we have the number of individuals who own such cars. So with this information, how many individuals own one car? So this is the part for one car. What we need to do is count the number of X's that we see here. And that is eight. So we have eight individuals who responded to this survey, indicating that they only own one car. Now what about part B? How many individuals own at least two cars? So we're looking for how many individuals own at least two or more cars. So we need to count everything past two, including two. So this here, we have a total of six individuals who own two cars. We have five individuals who own three cars, three individuals who own four cars, four individuals who own five cars, three individuals who own six cars, 
two individuals who own seven and one who own eight. So what we need to do is we need to add up those seven numbers. Six plus five is 11, plus three that's 14, plus four is 18, plus three is 21, plus two is 23, plus one, that's 24. So we have a total of 24 individuals who own at least two cars. Now what about part C? How many individuals own at most three cars? So we can write it this way. We're looking for the number of individuals where X is less than or equal to three. For part B, we're looking for the number of individuals where X, let's say X represents the number of cars owned, X is greater than or equal to two. So for part C, how many individuals own at most three cars? So we're looking for the numbers here from zero up to three, including three. So that represents at most three cars. So anything four or above is not included. So the number of individuals who own zero cars is seven. So what we need to do is add up those four numbers. So it's seven plus eight, which is 15. 15 plus six is 21. 21 plus five is 26. So we have 26 individuals who own at most three cars. Now let's move on to part D. How many individuals own four or five cars? So we're looking at the two columns here. So we have three individuals who own four cars and we have four individuals who own five cars. So we have a total of seven individuals who own four or five cars. Now let's move on to part E. How many people are living in this community? To get this answer, all we need to do is add up the total number of X's or dots that we have in this line plot. So let's count it this way. One plus two is three. Three plus three is six. Six plus four is 10. 10 plus three is 13. 13 plus five is 18. 18 plus six is 24. 24 plus eight is 32. 32 plus seven is 39. So we have a total of 39 individuals who responded to the survey. So assuming everyone in the community responded to the survey, we can, we can conclude that there's 39 people living in this community. Now, what about part F? What is the total number of cars in this community? How can we get that answer? In order to find that answer, we need to multiply the vertical data with the horizontal data. So we have seven individuals who own zero cars. Seven times zero, that's just gonna be zero. So there's no cars in that category. In the next column, we have eight individuals who own one car. So eight times one, that's a total of eight cars. For the next column, we have six individuals owning two cars each. So six times two, that's 12. That's 12 cars for that column. Next, we have five individuals each owning three cars. So five times three, that's a total of 15 cars. And then we have three individuals who own four cars. So three times four, that's 12 cars. 
and then 4 times 5, 20 cars. 3 times 6, 18 cars. 2 times 7, 14 cars. And then plus 1 times 8, which represents 8 cars. So now let's get the sum. 8 plus 12, that's 20, plus 15, that's 35, plus 12, that's 47, plus 20, that's 67. And let's just put in the rest. So I got a total of 107 cars that were surveyed to be in this community. And so that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to interpret the data that's presented on a line plot. Thanks for watching.